On January 13, the Boeing 737-800 operated by a Turkish low-cost airline called Pegasus Airlines left the site of the runway during its landing rollout in Trabzon, Turkey. It then careered over a section of grass and down a steep slope. It stopped meters from the rocky water's edge where it hung precariously. Passengers and crew escaped by clambering up the steeply sloping aisle and out of the rear doors into the relative safety of the muddy cliff. Here a serving UK airline captain, who has flown both Airbus and Boeing airliners, explains how to him the accident looks very similar to one in Brazil, where the pilots became seemingly confused about one of the engines remaining in high thrust on landing. It was a tragedy in which 199 people lost their lives. The pilot, speaking anonymously, said, How could anything go so wrong as to cause such a calamity when the landing is almost over? How close was it to catastrophe? The truth is that nobody yet knows the cause. Commercial aircraft accidents take months or years to investigate, such as the painstaking nature of that work. What is certain is that a catastrophe was narrowly avoided. A few meters further, a little more speed, a fire breaking out. Any of these events could have caused lives to be lost. It has been reported that the right hand engine may have suddenly increased thrust and caused the aircraft to swing violently to the left. It is possible that something like this occurred late into the landing. As the aircraft slows, the air flowing over the fin and rudder, often referred to as the tail, reduces and control is weakened to a point where the aircraft relies on the grip of its tires on the runway to keep straight. A very large amount of thrust at a very slow speed would rapidly overcome the grip of the small nose tire and turn the aircraft. The pilot draws a comparison.